Hello and welcome to another episode of Speed Coding. Today we're gonna work on pathfinding. I have already done a video on this in my Warcraft 2 series but I think we can do some improvements on it. So the pathfinding algorithm that we're gonna use is called A-Star and is a computer algorithm that is widely used in pathfinding and graph traversal, the process of plotting an efficiently traversable path between multiple points, called nodes. So let's start. The first thing we're gonna do is the path node class. The path node class contains information about how much every node, or tile, cost. For us each symbol and every new node cost 10 points, but the cost may change if you have different terrain. The node also keep track of the cost to the final tile position. But as we don't know the final path this is checked by a single straight line. The total cost of the node will then be the total cost of every node to this point plus the cost to the final position. It's this cost that help us decide our path as we will see later on. We will also create our own comparer to check nodes against each other. This is used for sorting the open list. So finally we are at the pathfinding class. The pathfind class will contain two lists, one open and one closed. The open list contains all nodes that are possible to walk on and the closed list will be our current best path. So we will start by creating a node for our start position. Then we will check if the position are our final position and if not we check the closest node in all direction. If it are okay to walk on any of them we check if they already exist in the open list. If they already exist we check the cost, and if the costs are higher than our current cost we update it with our current path. If they don't exist in the list we simply add it. Then we sort the open list and take the node with the lowest cost and start all over again until we found the final path. When the final path is found we simply return and traverse back from the parent node and return the result. So finally we will simply check if the pathfinder is working correctly. But as I said before, this is just one way to implement this algorithm and I would really recommend for those that are interested to read up more.